Hello Rambo Nators! Welcome to a new random type video. Today I'm solving the mystery of what's inside my pencil case. Sis. Sis, sis. Before I start I'd like to show you my art book, sketches and illustrations. Like the name says, it's a selected collection of my art. Some of these you might have seen as a speed paint on my channel or as postings on my Instagram or Facebook page and some were just unpublished until now. So if you are interested to get one, make sure to check out my Etsy store. And just so you know, everything I will show you and mention is also listed in the description box down below. So be sure to click below there to get more details. Okay, let's continue. First time I saw this kind of video was from Holly Brown. So, hey Holly! <laughs> um, I'm not sure if other artists also did this. Maybe you know other artists, so let me know. Um, I think it's quite interesting to see what kind of materials are essential to each person to carry them everywhere in a pencil case. Okay, let's start by emptying it. Well, most important common things are pencils. This one is from Koinor, it's 5B and I got it from a scroll box. Next is also a pencil, which I got from the scroll box as well. Uh, this eraser pencil from Stadler, which came also with a scroll box. There will be a lot of things from the scroll box. Yeah, and it has a brush on one side to brush away all the erasing mess. So you won't smear everything with your hand. More pencils! Okay, mechanical pencils to be honest. I love mechanical pencils a lot. You don't need to sharpen it like a common pencil. But you can still draw detailed things with it. For quite some time I loved to sketch with colored pencil leads. I bought some cheap mechanical pencils from the Action Store, I think, and put in different um, colored leads from Pilot, Color, Eno, and these are erasable. So for me it's a great tool and I really like to use it. For detailed erasing parts I use one which is good and cheap and you can buy it at Bursna. And I find one from Mono, Tombo, Tombo Mono, uh, which I got from the scroll box. Of course I also need a normal soft white eraser and this one is from Pentel. Oh and here are the pencil leads I use for my mechanical pencils. Um, I bought these at Zeichen Center Ebeling in Berlin, but I'm sure you can also get these on Amazon or other pages. Um, and well, a pencil sharpener. Nice common thing. Hooray! Sakura Jelly Roll Pens in white, which is a really good white gel pen. And the others are pretty glittery gel pens. Cheap ballpoint pens are the best. I especially fell in love with this one, which came in a 10-piece um, package from BIC. Yeah, it's not BIC, like I said in the previous video. With a ballpoint pen from BIC, I think that's the name. No, it's BIC. Even if it's a C and not a G, but it's BIC. More ballpoint pens, which I think are more like gel pens. I got them from Amazon and I really like the thin tip they have. The white one is quite better than the one with the cat head and it came also in a set with different colored inks inside. Sometimes I also write stuff. <laughs> so I really like to use gel pens. Um, the pink one is from Pilot and it contains pink ink. Yeah. Pink ink. Wow. Um, the green one, a lot of you might know it from my disappearing ink video. And it's also from Pilot. Okay. Snap, snap. Everybody needs soy sauce in his case. If you don't have it, you are such a noob noob. 
<laughs> okay, just joking. I guess I got it from a convention while eating Japanese convention food. So it just slips inside my case and yeah, if I'm getting hungry and I need more saltiness to my food, I know where I can find my soy sauce. <laughs> Somehow this is a pen I never really used, but it always finds a way to return. How? It's a silver gel pen from Stabilo, which I bought years ago. Maybe someday I will find a use for it, or it will just find a new home in another artist's pencil case. Who knows? <laughs> I also got this permanent marker years ago, and it's always useful because it's waterproof. Simply good. Next is a gel pen fineliner from the Muji store. Uh, I can't really recommend it uh, because the line work is not flowing and, and I always got gaps in my line work. But it's still in my case for writing stuff and so... Hmm. Okay, now are only these brushes left. This one is a brush pen from Kudetake um, with a changeable container, but it's also possible to refill it with other ink because the other containers are quite expensive. So yay! Uh, this one is a finer brush pen by Zebra. Zebra. And I also got a brush pen from Neo Pico and another one from Kuretake. Since quite some time I really like to draw with brush pens again and and I think you can draw very dynamic lines with it. Last but not least, two water brushes with uh, water containers which are super useful when you are traveling and you like to use watercolors. Both came also in a scroll box. The left one is from the Sakura Koi watercolor travel kit and the right one is from Kuretake, which you can buy individual. Now to my big pencil case. Inside of it are mostly bigger things, which I mainly need on conventions. And first is a pretty cheap, and I mean cheap, cheap, watercolor set from the Flying Tiger store. Not the best you can get, but still useful. Of course I also need my precious Fine Tech Gold inks. And for more glitter and sparkle, I got this magical liquid Unicorn Tears in a full bottle. It's available on Amazon and make sure to shake it first to spread all the glitter particle. Never use it directly on your work. Spray it in the air and catch the falling glitter with your art piece so you won't have ugly spots and something else. Crab tape or masking tape or painter's tape is always useful and especially this one is useful for sensitive surfaces. This one is a template in trading card size. I got it from a convention I think. And shameless advertising for my own products. Buy this notepad now in my Etsy store. Okay I really use my own notepads because I got a lot of them and I can do notes on it. Haha! <laughs> Just buy it! Of course, I also use sticky notes for making more notes. Whoa, another pencil sharpener with a container! <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> um, this one is masking liquid from Molotov, which comes in a pen, so it's easier to handle. A big cutter to rob some innocent people a very cute scissor from Flying Tiger Store and some awesome Uniposka markers also from the scroll box. Last but not least a pen from Sakura Micron in pink and some clips for different users like helping that my sketchbook pages don't flip over. And that's basically everything that's inside my pencil cases. And if you are wondering where I get these cases, it's also Flying Tiger Store. Um, they came in three different sizes and uh, one up to three euros, I think. 
Um, I don't know if they still sell them, but these are also available in other art stores or in the internet. Like I said in the beginning, I will list everything in the description box, so make sure to click it. Well, that's all. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye bye!